this is an ac circuit and here we will find power dissipated across this resistor r in this circuit so first we will find the thevenin volt equivalent that is thevenin voltage and thevenin impedance of the circuit leaving this r then we will connect this r in series with the thevenin circuit so first step is to find the thevenin voltage to find this thevenin voltage remove this resistance where we have to find the power dissipated let these terminal be ab okay and we will find the voltage across these terminal and that will become our vth this vth will be equal to the voltage at this node suppose it is v1 so vth is nothing but our v1 this vth is nothing but v1 since no current is flowing here in this branch so whatever the voltage across these terminal will be will come here at the terminal these nodes so to find this we will apply the voltage division rule this is our negative 10j voltage so distribute this source voltage that is minus 10j across this and that will be our v1 2j divided by the sum of these three 2 minus 2j plus 2j this will become 2 divided by 2 that is minus 10j square that is plus 10 so plus 10 volts is the voltage across this 2j inductance what this minus 10 tells us it is telling us about the it is telling us about that the theta here is negative minus divided by 0 that is infinity 90 degree the here the uh, theta that is phasor angle is 90 degree of the horizontal now we will find the so that is nothing but 10 volts our vth is 10 volts now we will find next parameter that is zth to find zth remove this source voltage or short circuit it and find the impedance that we are seeing from this terminal ab so direct th is parallel combination of these two 2 minus 2j 2j parallel combination of these two impedances and series combination of the resulting with this 3 minus j5 this is our zth parallel of these two and whatever the result is in series with this so first find the parallel this is 2.2 minus 2j multiplied by 2j and the sum of these in denominator so here 2 will be cancelled and j will come in denominator in the numerator so multiply it by j this is j2 this is j square and this will make it plus 2 So the two plus J two is the result of this term plus three minus J five. So this will become five minus J three. This will become five minus J three. This is our Z th. Five minus J three. Okay. Now we can find the value of current. Okay. This is VTH, this is ZTH, and this two ohm is the resistance where we have to find the dissipated power. So, put this resistor in series with the thevenin impedance and find the value of current. This is current, and its value is suppose I. To find I, we will apply Ohm's law. So I is equals to 
VTH divided by the total impedance ZTH plus 2. It is equals to 10 divided by 5 minus J3 plus 2 and that is equals to 7 minus J3. Now we will rationalize or uh, convert this into a standard form by multiplying 7 plus J3 in numerator and denominator. This will become 49 plus 9, 49 plus 9, that is 58. Multiply this, this will become 70 plus J30. Divided by 58, this is our current in the circuit. Now, uh, we can find the RMS value of this current. Simply by squaring these terms and taking root of them. That is 70 by 58. We can move a simplified one step more. That is 35 by 29 plus J 15 by 29. Okay. Now we are going to square these terms. 35 square plus 15 square. And in the denominator, 29 square. This is our I. And what will be the power? First, we will solve this. 35 square is 1225 plus 225. That is 1200, uh, 1500. So here will come 1500. Okay. And 29 square, that is 841. This is the value of I mod or this is RMS value. Okay. While we will convert this rectangular format into the polar, this the value we get is RMS value. So we can directly put it in the equation to find the power. So first convert this rectangular into polar and in polar the I value of this I, I mod is this much. Okay. Now, the power dissipated across 2 ohm will be equal to the whatever the current square it and multiply it by 2. While we are squaring this, this root will be cancelled by square term and here we will get 1500 divided by 841. And this will become 3000 divided by 841 and after dividing this, we can get the power decibeted and that is equal to the 3.55 watt. So this is the way to find power across any resistor connected in the circuit. First, uh, remove that uh, resistor by open circuit and then find VTH and next step to find ZTH is short circuiting if voltage source is there uh, and open circuit if current source, independent current source is present over there and then find the thevenin e equivalent of that. Connect the resistance where you want the dissipated power in series by, with that circuit and find the current and using that current we can find the power. What is the formula for power? Power across R, any register is equals to I modulus square multiplied by that resistance and this is nothing but the current in the polar format the modulus value of the polar format thank you